I'm afraid. I'm afraid of the house falling down on top of us. I mean, you, you figure, I mean, you see in movies, you know, where all these Tommy Lee Jones people play these parts and stuff, but this is not a movie. This is real life. Back-to-back -back earthquakes in Scurry County are causing mental distress for some people there. The latest earthquake hit early this morning. KTEX's reporter Karina Hollingsworth spoke with one man who says he's tired of all the shaking. Multiple earthquakes have shaken up Scurry County off of Highway 180 over the past week. And Dundeeville told me seven earthquakes have routed up his home in just 24 hours. And he fears these quakes are just getting started. It, it moved all of that. It took a screw that was in the wall here from up there that was that long. It, it just puked it out. And it was in the two by four. And put that on the ground to see where it, I would have hated for this to hit me in the head to see the dent it did in the floor there and there. That'd probably hurt. Don Devil told me as earthquake after earthquake caused his home to tremor. He can't help but wonder when the next one will strike. It's traumatizing. You'll be in bed asleep and to have that wake you up, it's like putting you in a jar. You take and put a marble in a jar and just shake it. It's what the house does. And when you're in bed, it, it, it scares the bejesus out of you. Devil says when a 5.0 magnitude earthquake attacks, damage to homes are unavoidable. Well, there's places in the ceiling where you can see the nails coming down. It, it's, uh, it's, it's messing up the house. The Scurry County resident told me back-to-back -back earthquakes are not something he thought he'd ever experience while living in Texas. We've had a big increase in, in, the, in the earthquakes. In the last seven days, there's been like 61 of them. We didn't have this before now. And now with earthquakes, now a part of this new normal, Deville says his mind wanders about the worst possibilities. Having somebody come dig me out from underneath the rubble? That's a fear. Help us. I mean, I talked with the county commissioner this morning. He said he's going to talk to the county attorney, see what laws in effect, see if there's anything to do. But, you know, I don't have a line to the governor. They do. They can talk to somebody. They can help us somehow if they want to. Scurry County Judge Dan Hicks has declared a disaster and is requesting assistance from the state of Texas. If you are needing to report damage, please visit our website at ktxs.com to find out how. Reporting for KTexas News, I'm Karina Hollingsworth. We had that big earthquake this